I'm gonna show you the three cameras under $1,000 that I would recommend to any filmmaker who is looking to create high quality videos and get paid for their work. Oh, and if you watch until the end, I have a surprise for you. Now, as a filmmaker and content creator, I think there are two main things that I kept in mind when choosing my three options. The first is longevity. Now, I don't mean it in the sense that you stay with the camera for a long time, but rather choosing a camera where the more expensive models are improving constantly. As a beginner, the goal is always to use your first camera to get practice in, make some money, and invest it in a better one. So knowing that the brand has incredible options in the future was a huge factor for me. And the second is a bit obvious, image quality. It is crucial for a beginner camera to be able to shoot in a high resolution in order to create a portfolio that will attract paid clients. So let's get right into it with option number one, the Canon EOS R10. This is a mirrorless camera offering high sensitivity, nuanced image quality, and a fast overall performance. It has a 24.2 megapixel CMOS APS-C sensor, and it delivers stunning resolution for both photo and video. Plus, it has an efficient image processor that powers the video capture and reduces noise, which is great when you're shooting in low light. Now, it's obviously not gonna be the best, but it also has a high-speed shooting 15 frames per second mechanical shutter, and the EOS R10 can capture the perfect moment between your subject's movement. The autofocus is crucial, guys. This is right, ideal for any action shots where you're shooting sports, animals, or maybe just lifestyle photography where you're trying to catch uh, subjects moving. This camera also has a professional grade for 4K video on the go with a movie servo autofocus mode, which is absolutely beautiful. Canon is incredible with their autofocus detection. And yeah, it'll just track your subjects, like I said, either where you're shooting video or photo. But the only thing to note is that when you're shooting 4K, which you can shoot at 4K 60, you will have a cropped image. Now, although this camera doesn't offer Canon log, it does have an option to use HDR PQ, which allows you to shoot in 10 bit. And if you're familiar with Canon, you'll know that Canon colors are just extremely beautiful right off the bat. So with some good color grading experience and a good lighting technique, you'll actually be able to achieve a very good cinematic look. Another feature I love is the fact that you can have the ability to shoot with different lenses. This is huge, guys. The RFS, RF, EF, and EFS mounts are all compatible with this camera, and that is why I love this camera as option number one. Now, option number two is the Sony A6400. This is a compact mirrorless camera, and it's a powerhouse for video. Sony has made great improvements in the past couple years and I think this camera speaks for that reason. It has excellent image quality. The A6400 features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor and a powerful Bionz X image processor which together delivers high quality image with sharp details and vibrant colors. Now this camera also has a fast autofocus. Sony's advanced real-time eye focus detection and real-time tracking makes it easy to capture sharp and in-focus shots of moving subjects, which also, just like the Canon, makes it ideal for sports, wildlife, lifestyle, weddings, and that sort of photography and video as well. Now, speaking of video, this camera is also a powerhouse when it comes to that. It can shoot 4K Ultra HD video at 30 frames per second with full pixel readout and no pixel binding, which just ensures an incredible quality. And my favorite feature from this camera when it comes to video is that it includes S-Log2 and S-Log3 profiles, which open the door to professional color grading and a dynamic range expansion. Now, all my Sony lovers are gonna defend this to the death and I think for very good reason the impressive low light performance. Sony has time and time again shown that they're the top dogs when it comes to low light and this camera is no different. The camera's ISO range I think is from 100 to 32,000 and I think it's expandable to like 102,000 or something like that which is just absolutely incredible and just gives you a very good image with low light and for a camera at $1,000 this is incredible. And last but not least, the versatility, right? Similar to Canon, you can switch lenses with this sort of camera. And yeah, just gives you the ability to get prime lenses, zoom lenses, and all in all, a good lens and a good camera is just gonna make your footage a lot better and a lot more professional. And last but not least, this one might surprise you, but I'm gonna have to go with it. And it's the iPhone 14 Pro. I know, you guys might be a little bit shocked because I know that there's a lot of options, but I wanna tell you why I think it's this camera. The goal of this video is to give you suggestions of cameras that you can buy to create high quality videos and attract paid clients. 
Now, I know there are other cameras at $1,000, such as the Lumix G7, the Nikon Z50, or the Fuji X-T30, which are all great options. However, I feel that Canon and Sony options are just better for the reasons that they are the two strongest in the filmmaking industry. They're constantly improving their cameras and their lenses, and that just means that when you choose either Canon or Sony, you would have to learn one camera and then be able to utilize the lenses in the other ones, and it's just, I think the learning curve just gets a lot easier when you're choosing one of those two as opposed to the other three. So even with that, why the iPhone 14 Pro? Well, as a filmmaker who has been creating content for brands all over the world for over five years, it has recently become incredibly important to capture vertical content. And yes, you could utilize a vertical mount and use the Canon or Sony, but there are beginners who aren't as familiar with all the settings of these mirrorless cameras. Rather than feeling like there's no option for them, I wanted to confirm that clients actually love the quality and the look of iPhone videos for some things. And so learning how to best utilize an iPhone could actually get you paid work right away. The main things obviously from this camera is the portability, right? It just fits right in your pocket and you can shoot. But it also has the ability to shoot 4K 60 as well as the ability to shoot photos at Pro Raw at 48 megapixels with a focal lens at 1x of 24 millimeters and an aperture of f1.8. This is amazing. The Pro camera system adds a 2x telephoto with an optical quality zoom, giving you more framing flexibility than ever before. So there's really no excuse to not be able to capture high quality photos and videos right from the camera, which has a one over 1.28 inch sensor. Now, those who aren't really familiar with that, when you compare it to the Canon R10, it means that its sensor, like the iPhone sensor, is four times smaller, which is why with a Canon or Sony camera, you will get a better image quality. You will be able to capture a cinematic look much easier. Now sure, the cinematic mode in the iPhone now lets you shoot in 4K HDR at 24 frames per second, the standard in the film industry. But like I said, I would focus utilizing this camera to create vertical content that complements my other deliverables that I would actually prefer to shoot on a Canon or a Sony camera. So yes, guys, it's definitely true that you can get paid work by just utilizing an iPhone. I'm thinking things for coffee shops, even hotels. I know a few friends that make their entire living just creating social first content for hotels on their iPhone because you can still get great image quality off of these phones and you don't need a Canon or Sony. But I do want to say that you can get higher paid clients if you're using a mirrorless camera because your image quality is gonna be just better. And then complementing that with iPhone deliverables, I think is the perfect mix. Now, for those who made it till the end, I just wanna say thank you. And you're gonna get a reward because I'm actually giving one of these cameras away. All you have to do is head over to the link in the description where you're gonna be prompted to answer a few questions and vote on which camera you prefer. I'm then gonna choose a winner. And the only requirements are that you're subscribed to this channel and have filled out the form. Now the winner will not only get a camera, but I'll also hop on a call with you to help you set up your camera with the best settings and include a video and photo LUT so you can apply it to your footage right away and immediately get a better cinematic look. And finally, as a bonus, I'm gonna choose a few people from those who leave a comment below telling me what they would use the camera for. Maybe it's lifestyle shooting, maybe it's weddings, music videos, hotels, etc. But if you guys leave a comment telling me what you would use it for, I'm gonna choose a few people and give you a special LUT to improve your content. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys got some value from it. And yeah, don't forget to fill out the form to participate so you have a chance of winning a camera. I'll see you in the next one.